I'm the son of a black man from Kenya and a white woman from Kansas. I have brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, uncles, and cousins of every race and every hue scattered across three continents. And for as long as I live, I will never forget that in no other country on earth is my story even possible. It used to be like nobody knew that he was mixed, but he's talking about that a lot more. He's not necessarily saying, no, I'm not black, I'm not white, I'm mixed. He's not necessarily saying that, but it's not much of a, a mystery to anybody anymore that he's, you know, mixed. And he's talked about that, especially in that speech that he made. If that can happen with one person, that could happen on like a larger scale with an entire community. If, if that community is ready to be seen as that, I mean, I don't know, but I've just, I, I just wanted to make that observation. I'm Philip Handy, and I identify as uh, mixed, biracial, uh, black and white, any of, the, any of those. My name's Angelica Abdul. Um, I'm black, Native American, and Chinese. My name is Matthew Vaden. I'm biracial, too. I'm half African American and half Caucasian, um, and I express characteristics of both in me, so therefore I am a multiracial person. My name's Alex Lee, and uh, I would uh, identify myself as half Korean and half white. I don't bring it up, but most people don't ask me. They just either assume or they wait till they really know me to ask me, because I guess it makes them nervous to ask, you know, what you are. Being that race can be sort of a tense issue. At least in the circles that I've traveled in, um, race is becoming more of a, people are starting to acknowledge the complexity of race. I started Fusion last year and it was pretty much a kind of thing to create a support system among other mixed people because I remember whenever I did meet mixed people we were really excited to talk about the shared experience and the, the things that we faced. A lot of people think that um, mixing cultures um, dilutes cultures and the kids lose a sense of culture when they grow up and they're not quite as, uh, like they don't quite have as strong values as their parents did. And we just wanted to get everybody's opinion on if that's true or not and what you do to maybe navigate your different cultures, you know, your different sides of the family. I just think that the family, like the size of your family on each side plays a big role. And whether you feel like if I'm more Korean or more, more American or more white. My dad's Arab, my mom's Filipina. So, and also like there's pressure from the family. So I go to wherever my dad lives, like my dad's family. So they're like, does he speak Arabic? I'm like, and my mom's like, yeah, he does, so that's a good thing. But if I didn't, you know there's going to be like something like, Grr, you know? <laughs> so, and when I went to the Philippines, does he speak Tagalog? And if not, it's also the same thing. Oh, why you don't speak Tagalog? <laughs> the more you look like something, the more you're going to want to identify with that. Like, does anybody else think that's true? Or does anybody, like, agree, disagree, or have something to say about that? If we're going to define being mixed as, like, what we are as being multiracial, then is it incorrect for black people to call themselves black if you're one sixteenth Irish? You know what I'm saying? My parents said, well, you're both, so that's what you are. You can identify as whatever you want, but you're both. Um, so me taking that and be like, okay, black side, white side, I already have the experience of being both, so I can kind of pass it on to my kids. Often the issue for mixed people is that obviously we don't fit into any boxes very well. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> people, I think, have a certain animosity towards us in a lot of cases because they can't categorize us e easily. As time goes on, generations come and go, I think people are more and more gonna slowly but surely start to open themselves up more to different cultures, more progressively, not as pragmatic, so on and so forth. I mean, this election right here is perhaps one first big step in that direction. Yeah.